STAD Pro 2024 now includes the 2020 edition of Australian Standard for Steel Structures. This is the AS4100 2020, which you can select from the Steel Design Code drop-down. Although there is little difference between the 2020 edition and the older implementation of AS4100 1998, there are still some features within the 2020 code implementation in STAD Pro which can be useful for you. We will go through these features in this video. In this example, I have already formed physical members and added some steel design parameters like the steel grid for certain physical members using the SGR parameter. For physical members not having this command assigned, the program will assume relevant steel grid based on the section type. Flange bracings for the top and bottom flange have also been defined on some physical members using the pbrace command. This particular parameter automates many other design parameter calculations as well. At the end, I have a check code command to perform code check on the highlighted members. This code check with the parameters defined so far will not account for the serviceability limit state of deflection. With the AS4100 2020 design code in STAD Pro, you can now check your structure for deflection also. This is not available for the 1998 edition. So let's see how this is done. In the loading page, I can see the existing loads in the model. This example has some dead loads, live loads, and wind loads acting on the structure. Based on these reference loads, I have also automatically generated strength and serviceability load combinations. StatPro allows you to automatically generate load combinations based on several codes and tables available in the program, as well as user-defined load combination tables. The AS1170 code and its strength and serviceability load combinations in this example are user-defined, based on which the load combinations in this model have been generated. You can reuse such user-created load combination tables repeatedly for many future projects. To check your structure for deflection, you can create separate load envelopes for strength and serviceability. These envelopes can be created from the loading page and can be activated before a set of design parameters are utilized. To create these envelopes, you can select the envelope type and the appropriate loads to include within it from the Load Envelopes dialog. Next, to enable a particular load envelope, I can go to the Analysis and Design tab and click on Post Analysis Commands. From here, I can add a load list command prior to the appropriate design parameters. This allows me to enable specific load cases or envelopes prior to utilizing the design parameters. I will select the strength envelope, that is envelope 1, and add it before the first parameter block so that these parameters represent strength design. At the end of the command structure, I will enable the serviceability envelope, below which I will add some design parameters related to deflection check. For an example of deflection check, I am selecting these analytical members that form the beam on which I want to check deflection. The deflection related parameters for AS4100 currently can only be applied in the analytical mode, so I'll have to make sure I'm out of the physical member cursor or the physical member mode. So I will now go into the design parameters and specify the first deflection check related parameter called DG1. This is for entering the starting node number of the member for considering deflection length. So I'll have to enter the starting node value of 127 here and assign it to the selection. Similarly for ending node of the member for deflection length, I'll use DG2 with value of 128 and assign it to the selection as well. The final deflection parameter is DFF, which is the deflection limit you want to consider in terms of deflection length per maximum allowable local deflection. I'm using a value of 500. I've also used the track parameter for producing detailed output related to the deflection check. Finally, I will have the check code command in this parameter block, which will consider the assignment of the deflection related parameters to perform the deflection check. You can repeat the process for multiple members, but for this example, I will run the analysis with deflection parameters set up for this single member.
Once the analysis is complete, I can go into the output file to view the results of both the strength and serviceability code checks in the order that I've defined them. So the top steel design section is for strength and the final steel design section includes details of the deflection check. If I look at the details of deflection check here, I can find information on things like the actual deflection, allowable deflection and the design ratios. Looking at the details of the ultimate design, you will notice an improved reporting in the output of AS4100 2020 edition compared to AS4100 1998 edition in StatPro. One thing to note here is that in the current version of StatPro, the utilization ratio related to AS4100 2020 that you see in the post processor is shown according to the final parameter block. In the case of this member, it is showing the utilization ratio according to deflection check. Therefore, it is important to look at the output file for properly assessing the controlling code check result from about the strength and serviceability results. The 2020 edition of ES4100 in Stat Pro also allows you to now include steel design details in your report. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.